Well, there was a very close call on the edge of space when a Russian rocket carrying Americans and Russian astronauts suddenly malfunctioned, leaving the future of space travel in question. Tom Costello explains. Back on solid ground and hugging their wives, the astronauts who survived a harrowing plunge from the edge of space. Veteran Russian cosmonaut Alexei Ovchinin and American Nick Haig with his wife Katie, an Air Force officer herself, relieved he'd survived his first launch. Lift off. And there is lift off of the Soyuz MS-10 to the International Space Station carrying Nick Haig and Alexei Ovchinin. For the first two minutes, the Russian rocket ride to the space station looked normal. Then, suddenly trouble. We can confirm now that the crew has started to go into the ballistic descent mode. The mission aborted. A critical rocket booster had failed. Haig and Ovchinin were in a free fall plunging back to Earth. Six to seven G's pulling at their bodies. It's like uh, shooting a bullet out of a rifle barrel. Controllers watched and waited. Would the parachutes work? Would they survive? I hope they get down safe. That's the only thing that was going through my mind. Finally, word that rescue teams had found the capsule in the remote Kazakh countryside. Both men had survived, rushed for medical evaluations, then to their families. American astronaut Scott Kelly spent a year in space. Thursday's sudden abort, he says, was high stakes. Yeah, it's a big deal. Any day you strap yourself to a rocket, you're planning on going to space, you launch and you don't make it. A big deal. NASA has relied on Russia to carry Americans to space since retiring the space shuttle fleet in 2011. Now Russia has suspended all manned launches pending an investigation, which means the three astronauts still orbiting on the space station could be there longer than they'd anticipated. And that was Tom Costello reporting NASA is now looking at how it would run the space station without humans. Meanwhile, SpaceX and Boeing are developing rockets to fly to the station with their first missions expected for next year.